Welcome to this Widex e-learning tutorial on fine-tuning in Compass GPS 2.0. To demonstrate the possibilities available in fine-tuning, we have used two Widex unique 440 Fusion hearing aids in a binaural fitting situation. Options may vary depending on the selected model. The fine-tuning window displays the fine-tuning parameters for the standard listening programs. The default graphic is the output versus frequency view. You can, however, select other graphics by clicking Views. Programs chosen in the Program Manager are shown in the Program Starter in the upper left-hand corner. You can add programs to the hearing aids under the Program Manager and see the number of programs the hearing aid can contain. Gain settings are shown in the Gain and Compression tab under Tuning on the left navigation bar. Here you can adjust gain at different frequency regions and input levels. If more than one program has been selected, then by default, adjustments in fine tuning will affect all programs. However, you can fine tune an individual program by selecting it in the Program Starter. By default, gain adjustment will affect both hearing aids. By deactivating the binaural adjustment icon, you can make adjustments to the hearing aids individually. You can choose whether to display the four basic bands in the hearing aids or the maximum number of bands. The gain settings are split into three horizontal rows showing the insertion gain settings for soft, normal, and loud sounds. Click on a gain setting and adjust it with the up or down arrows. It is also possible to adjust several parameters simultaneously by clicking and holding the left mouse button down while dragging it over the gain boxes. Select the compression button to view the compression ratios. By clicking the target button, Values of the gain setting deriving from the sensorgram measurements can be shown. When the Universal Program is selected in the Program Starter, you can access the Sound Class Settings tab under Tuning on the left navigation bar. The Universal Program uses Sound Class technology to automatically select the best Sound Class setting. Here you will see feature visualizations showing how each sound class is addressing certain variables. For example, overall loudness. Hover your mouse over each variable for additional detail. You can make adjustments to individual sound classes by selecting one and moving the appropriate slider towards more comfort or more audibility. Adjustments are reflected in the graphics above. You can also choose Demo View, which shows the currently detected sound class. Sound samples can be used to initiate real-time sound class transitions, which are shown visually in this graphic. You can play sound samples using the sound player. You can also control sound class transition speed and choose to deactivate sound class detection altogether. Select Feature Settings on the left navigation bar if you want to adjust some of the special features in the hearing aids. Select a feature to make adjustments and to see an explanation of the feature. Default settings are indicated by the Compass GPS icon. Default settings will differ depending on which program is selected. Acclimatization helps the user adapt to amplification by gradually increasing gain in all programs until full prescribed gain is reached. Note that acclimatization is set to off by default in Compass GPS 2.0. When turned on, the feature defaults to automatic acclimatization where gain is automatically increased over a specified period of time. To define the duration of each level, select an interval in the drop-down list. Alternatively, you can choose manual acclimatization and select the appropriate level. The Audibility Extender transposes inaudible high frequencies into audible frequency regions. Here in the Selected Programs tab, 
you can specify which program's Audibility Extender is to be applied to. To change the start frequency, frequency range, and volume of transposed sound, click the Settings tab. Here it is also possible to demo the sound for the client. If you have measured a feedback test, dealt with possible fit and venting issues, and feedback still occurs, you can make adjustments to the feedback manager. The graphic shows the trade-off between gain and risk of feedback. The MPO Manager allows you to change the maximum power output of the hearing aid. The adjustments made to the MPO Manager will affect all programs in the hearing aid. If you wish to recalculate the settings in fine-tuning, select the Reset function. Whenever you need more information, remember you can use Compass Help. Just press F1 or select the question mark icon in the upper right-hand corner. Thank you for your attention.